Yo, what's up? Welcome to the start of the vlog. It is Friday. <laughs> it is Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna measure out my way up. What day is for it's no it's not Friday. What day is it? It's Tuesday. It's not it's fucking, sorry I took an edible. <laughs> Alright, how much do I fucking weigh? 193? God damn. The pre-trip weigh in. The pre-trip weigh in. how much you weigh? I can't believe you used to weigh like 200 pounds in like fucking high school playing football and shit, bro. No, that was in college. Oh, that was in college? God damn. I can't see shit, bro. The fuck? Uh, probably shouldn't have put lotion on my face. Because it uh, makes the razor, you know, less, less precise, you know. But uh, I hope this clip doesn't get copyrighted. This is the night before... Christmas. How's that? I can imagine. <laughs> Wong's uh, telling me about this house. <laughs> Wong, keep going. It's all, it's all part of the vlog, bro. Can't see shit still. What's up, dude? What are you watching? Why are you throwing me back, bro? <laughs> 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 What's up, fellas? What time is it? It's 4 a.m. It's, it's 4 a.m. on Wednesday morning. The 6th... 16th. Alright, it's time to go. Thanks, Terry. Alright, fellas, we just made it to the airport. Tell me the passes. Man, it's been like a fucking year, bro. SFO to Chicago, bro. SFO to Chicago, bro. It's so empty. Yo, what's up, fellas? We made it past the checkpoint. You know, we're not terrorists. <laughs> Look! Look is look at what's open right now. You got you got the good old BK. Good old have it your way is open right now, dude. Allison, how down are you for Burger King? Zero out of ten. Ah shit. Hey, Check it out, United has Batman. What else do they have? They got more Batman. They got Dune. Wow, they got a good array. They got Harry Potter too. Nice. Four hour flight. What are you gonna watch? I don't know. What are you gonna watch Wong CCTV? <laughs> Channel 26. Landed in Chicago. All right, it's on. This uh, man, first thing he did, just pop some pills. <laughs> Shameless. Uh, so this is Chicago Airport, huh? We got cafe. We got 
pretty nice weather right now. You know, I heard you're only know, supposed to come here, you know, before it's too hot, before it's too cold, you know, in the winter and summer. Nah, I'm good. Okay, watch my stuff. All right, nice shoes, bro. Thanks. We got a uh, fucking Psy over here from, from K-pop stardom. <laughs> wow, look at this fucking wine bar. Look at this wine bar inside of Chicago airport. Wow, my girlfriend would love this. piano guy right there and then he would have staring us down because you know we we, we we just stand in here bro we just stand in here yo this mcdonald's probably makes bank oops gotta see the menu uh big mac quarter pounder with cheese damn it's these fries these fries smell so good <clears throat> got a daily double some french fries nine dollars <sighs> so hungry what'd you order double cheeseburger make double small fries shit that could be me if i wanted to i guess got a daily double yeah a quick little mukbang we got the fries it's called a daily double so i guess it's just like a little double Baby cheeseburger, you know, tiny as hell. Look, it's not even. Yeah, it's so tiny. It looks bigger than mine, though. <laughs> What'd you get? A uh, double cheeseburger. It's the same size, bro. Uh, I guess it's like it got a little bit more. Fries are so good. Buff burger. These North Korean fries are so good. What did you do? Yo, so like we're going between terminals right now, and like this is underground, so all the airplanes are above us right now, and we're just like migrating terminals. Probably feel like the weather, you know, when it gets super cold, so they don't want things above the ground, but man, this is. Super interesting. Just got picked up by the man himself. What up, my boy? Joy boy. <laughs> oh man. Now we just gotta get Andrew, right? Yeah, Andrew. Yeah, this car does need a car wash. Yeah, no, it's too bad, dude. <laughs> we're gonna all gonna try the Malort. We're gonna do it all together. It's disgusting. I mean, we're all gonna try it together. We have to. Uh, I don't know what kind of alcohol, but I just know it's like the Chicago thing. Uh, Austin, you telling me you came all the way over here? Knowing that it's rough, but just make sure you drink hella water. Yeah, and I didn't drink hella water, and so once I drank hella water, I felt hella. Oh, oh you ran red. <laughs> and all these brick buildings in in Chicago, very brick-like. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, look at how cheap this gas is here in Chicago. Back home, it's like 597 right now. It's fucking crazy, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll get even closer. There's actually there's a harbor next to like the very end is the south side. So you can right actually here, huh? Oh, there was a football field. Oh yeah. Wow. So that's Se that's a, that's Sears Tower right there with the two prongs coming up. Wow. And this is Navy Pier um, with the Ferris wheel and everything. Wait, so why is it called Sears Tower? Well, it used to be, it's now called Willis Tower, but it used to be the headquarter for Sears. Oh. Nice. Two blocks down, you'll see like a bunch of signs for like a hospital. That's actually where the, the hospital where I work at. It's like smack dab in the middle of downtown. Damn. Yeah. Fucking finally. Look at all those buildings. What do you 
anything about the view. Welcome, nice. to, welcome to my apartment. It's fucking huge. Jesus Christ. Ghost. Can you imagine having sex here and then you just look out and you make eye contact with the yeah. neighbor? <laughs> across the street. <laughs> and then you just like... <laughs> just give him a thumbs up. <laughs> Oh my god. This dog is gigantic. So I have edibles, an extra car. Actually, that's just for me. That's Yo, what welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> Got a giant ass dog right next to me. Hey, ghost. Hey, ghost. Look at, look, hey, ghost. Look at me. Hey, ghost. Oh, he's too busy paying attention to the front. This dog's like half the size of a wolf. So he's Huge. Damn. Damn. <laughs> I think one of my ghost. Damn, it's got the little speaker system. Who's next? Who's getting married next? Bro, why does everything look so clean here? I'm not I'm not used to it, man. I'm used to that SF bum, that SF homelessness, you know? I'm splitting a ghost with Choi over awesome. here. Want another beer? I might as well just pass this oh, one. Geez. Too much. Oh, jeez. Too much. We talk shit the gym later. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to see it. We have in the eye. The James shop. actually changed, um, trains clients downstairs. Oh, at like oh, the, the lobby gym or stuff like that? Yeah. Awesome. Hey, let me change the other game too. Awesome, so he needs uh, energy. That's right. That's cherry limeade. Let's see what it tastes like. Put a shot in it, though. Hey. Yeah. You can do that. You can do that. Alright, bro, I'm not gonna lie. This shit tastes like some of that good shit you find at Taco Bell. Like, like some of that strawberry fizzy, but without the fizzy, you know? Like, this is really good. Ghost cherry limeade. Strawberry limeade. Alright, we just came down from the elevator, doing a little apartment tour. Oh, well, that's so cool! What the fuck, dude? Oh. Yeah, we got La La Land over here. You got fucking what's the other one? Uh, the remember, remember that movie where it's like that's not quite my tempo. Uh, whiplash. Yeah, that's good. You got Whiplash over here. Oh, you could be a neo. Wow. Hey Wong, play us some beats. Still got my energy drink that I'm sipping on. After after drinking both yellow. This the gym? Oh, my arm's getting tired. It's a workshop in there. Uh, it's like tools and stuff. Oh. Uh, this is that movie theater. Damn, this couch, is, there, but... this couch is better than my couch. Oh. Nope. I think something's in there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh, this is a, oh. So you rent this out and then like, what? wow, look at this you couch. Use, you can I mean, you can use them when it's open, you can reserve it. Imagine this on the Hey, uh, the building has its own app. Holy crap. Building. The building has its own app. Wow. <laughs> oh, I see some treadmills back there. A little shuffleboard action going on here. Wow. What the heck? Got pool right here. Oh man. Got some golf. Got some PowerPoint golf going on. Get on it. Let's see that swing. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, how about we 
uh, finish the tour. We we wrap on, we bring drinks down, but we chill here yeah. at the uh, simulation. I'm gonna reserve it so no one can fucking swoop on us. Continuing on with the tour. Wow. What is that? Well, there's a lot of people listening here. We can walk through. Wow. It's fucking 4 p.m. Yeah, dude. It's uh, after work, I guess. Oh, look at this. We got the mirror right here. Punching bag right here. Smith machines, dumbbells, treadmill. Wow. It's a small little spot. It's not bad. Hallway. Another hallway. Definitely has that hotel gym smell, you know? Yeah, what is that? Damn. Oh yeah, you got some more dumbbells. It's like it's, this, what's that like mirror thing? Is this tonal? <laughs> wow. I was just thinking, if you had this in SF, cool hot probably tub. Like it would be, it would be 7K, bro. 7K in SF. I've been swimming a lot. Literally double the price in SF. Might even be more, to be honest. For all like a 10 pay, 10K spot. More gym down a hallway. Damn, this is a lot of cardio, dude. I haven't seen this much. I haven't done cardio in... A long time but how clean these machines look how fresh they look I just want to do some cardio real quick you know spin bikes what do they have here oh wow all right so you got like a little nice it's not even like a, one of those sw switches it's a it's an actual pin in like press, you know, shoulder press machine right here, horizontal chest press. Oh, you got even got a cable, we got a cable row, a little, little weight stack cable row machine here. Good girl machine, back of machine, assist pull ups, hamstring curls. Man, this is this is not bad. You got a little double cable tower back there. This is not bad. All right, we're on the 32nd floor, and this is called Chef's Kitchen. All right, Chef's Kitchen. You gotta see, you gotta see what's in here. Holy crap! You got this whole kitchen island set up right there. Wow! Look at this fucking view. Hold on, grab this. Look at this goddamn view. I gotta go ultra wide on this one. This is fucking crazy. You zoom that shit in. Yo, this view is nuts. This view is freaking no Oh shit, where'd they go? Oops. Let's see. I did not realize there was someone else in there. <laughs> I hope I don't drop my phone from this view, bro. I'm like holding onto my phone hella tight so it doesn't get blown away by the wind. Alright, risking it all. Alright, that's it. We're walking the dog right now. This dog hasn't <laughs> This dog hasn't taken a shit all day, so he needs to go before we leave him by himself. I'm gonna walk to the Airbnb. This is really nice out here. I'm just, the weather's nice right now. The area's nice. Yeah, this is sick. Okay, Chicago. Okay. Alright, we're walking down. Walking down towards downtown right now, towards the Airbnb. It's only like 15 minutes away. Yeah. <laughs> Drinking some fruit. Drink some fruit punch. 
Look at that fruit punch right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh wow. Got Planet Fitness on top of Whole Foods. Downtown Chicago right now. Live life love. Alright, let's get drunk. The bathroom. Got one of the room. Oh, hey, hello. Get you guys in ultra wide. Wow. This is just one of the bedrooms. Nice, nice painting. Hey, sorry for the call. Um, do you think the yin yang thing right here. Let's go. I'm gonna go ultra wide living room. Let's get a little TV. <laughs> yeah, there's three. There's three masters in here. The dining room right here. Some wine glasses and stuff. Good view. Stove top, man. This just. Shit's cleaner than my stove top. Nice sink. Washer dryer. Washer dryer. Wow. Another painting. Oh. Bedroom. Oh. Let's see. Damn, this is a Holy shit, this thing's hella huge. This thing's fucking, this thing is hella big. We should have wow. a party here. Yeah. Damn. Just don't tell the Airbnb this. Yeah, this one has a Oh, yeah. <laughs> Full time. There we go. Finally done with that yeah, fucking go. contract. Oh, oh, we got an exchange going on right here. Boys, right here. This is fried cheese curd. Is that ranch? I'm assuming that's ranch. Yep. Oh man. That's a fries. Pulled pork. Barbecued pulled pork nachos right there. God damn. Yeah. Like better texture. Try out this cheese curd. Influencer. Really good. Really chewy. Underneath the bridge right now, we're talking about, you know, who can swim and who can, who, can, who can float. I can't. I can't float. I'm too. I'm too dense. I'm not buoyant, so I know the motions of swimming, but I can't swim, bro. I can't float. Skyline. All right, we are back. We're gonna do some drunk chest flies, and chest presses, and some arms before the steakhouse tonight. I think we're warming up with uh, some lat pull downs first. This is nice. There's like no copyright music anywhere. Food channel right there. You need some chest flies, chest press one. All right, fellas, I got 200 on the stack right now. That 180 felt, uh, felt pretty challenging, not gonna lie. But I haven't done a chest press machine in this kind of setup in like almost a year at least. Here you go, Wong.
there. I think, I think this is sobering me up. <laughs> yeah, definitely feeling it in the chest right now from those. Probably just gonna do one more set. Up oh, show. Nice. Alright, I got 200 on the weight stack for this final set. Probably gonna go 8 to 12. Here you go, one. <laughs> Shit, I'm trying to see if the dog's gonna take a giant. Whoa, he knows we're talking about it. Oh man, it's like sun setting, it's like seven right now. Almost heading to the steakhouse. for my beverage of choice tonight but I had made a mistake because I was thinking in my head about a pina colada but I got those two messed up so I have this strong ass I have this strong ass rum drink right now that's burning my esophagus like my stomach is already on fire because of this right now Wong you got a uh, you got a little margarita Choi what'd you get for your drink something with whiskey. It has the big square ice in it. Ah. Wait, is that old-fashioned? Very good. Very strong. Uh, water got... I mean, Austin, Austin got water. And Andrew and Melody got some wine. Wine appreciation class. Put his skills to good use. Tell us about it. Tell us about it. I'll tell you it's good. Oh my god. You bought it off Amazon. Wow. You got the T-bone, 20 ounce T-bone. You got some mushrooms right here. Brussels sprouts right here. Melody got a New York strip. Andrew got a bone in New York strip. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes right there. Cream spinach right there. French fries right there. We got some bread right there. Bottle of wine right there. Is that the, uh, is that the bone in New York strip too? Wow, nice. All right, fellas, I know it's a little dark in here, but I got the T-bone right there, sides, mashed potatoes and gravy, cream, spinach, 
sauteed mushrooms, and Brussels sprouts along with the Mai Tai. We go on. Everybody's full, we all got like our steak to go. Now we're just gonna go to Walgreens, get some supplies, and then uh, yeah, go home, maybe get some dessert. It's, it's pretty nice here in downtown. Definitely cleaner than SF. Just kidding, we're walking straight back to the Airbnb. It's gonna be another 17 minutes, 18 minutes to get back there. But yeah, downtown Chicago is not that bad right now. Maybe because it's a weekday. People are still, you know, they have work tomorrow. <laughs> wow, look at that building right there. Looks like a Dark Souls hidden tower, you know. Fight some bosses up top. This one's not bad too. morning it's like 8 40 right now I didn't realize that this man slept out here on the couch with no fucking blanket it's like I'd give him this comforter way better time to go get some I need to hydrate this Amazon mug got some vitamin C and some water SF fluoride water. I mean, even in SF, I still filter it. Where's the spoons at? Dude, there's like no spoons. It's all it's all a fugazi, bro. Where the fuck are all the spoons? All right, I don't even. All right, no spoons. There's spoons in here. No spoons. Spoons? Spoon? Spoon? Come on, this has to be it. And why is it so hard to fucking open? Alright. There we go. Alright, 
That's it. Cheers. shop now in downtown Chicago. First thing I smelled was some dog piss. So a bunch of people own dogs here. Get some coffee. But what I really want is a gallon of water from Walgreens. Back from the coffee shop, got the no strip on. Now I can finally breathe and enjoy Chicago air. What's next, Wong? What are we doing next? I think I think we're doing pizza later, but we're we doing the tour next, the boat tour. No, 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 that's later on. Oh, okay. Oh well, we'll see what's in store next. Explorer Uber. Now we're here at the International McDonald's in Chicago. So apparently you can get like Taiwanese shit and like Japanese shit or something like that. Yo, look at that menu. Global flavors. Bacon, extra cheese. This is what Spain? Wow. Alright, I gotta try it out. Yeah, that ice cream right there. Oh man, I gotta get that Japanese. Oh man. Alright, so this one is supposed to be the Japanese mix. No, it's the Hong Kong mix spicy. Good. I don't know, bro. Tastes like McChicken to me. Alright. After I let it marinate, chewed and swallowed, it tastes like popcorn chicken. It has popcorn chicken seasoning on there. It's really nice. Yeah, it's really good. Bacon? Oh my yeah. god. Hi, bacon. Wow, this You're cat. So cute. So, cute. so soft. It's know this, it knows that this is its only job. It's like. <laughs> get some belly rubs. You're so cute. Hi, bacon. Just do it as a group so that we don't have to do the individual ones. Hey, what's up, fellas? This is day two. Yeah. The first drink. First drink of the day. Hey, you can have a sip, camera. So good. Let's give me some. This is gonna give me some time. This one's like an El Diablo. So it's supposed to have ginger beer. <laughs> What's in here? Oh, it's not tequila. Alright, whatever. It's called an El Diablo. It's probably gonna fuck me up later. Right, Wong? What is this? It's like falling, so instead of 
It's like, was it pollen? Pollen fuzz? That's all I'm like, dude. I'm gonna try Choi's Aperol Spritz. Wow. And then Wong's getting in trouble for picking up the. What do you think? I think it's really uh, citrusy and uh, bitter, like that bitterness of the, the orange peel, you know? It's not, it's not like. It's not like super like aggressive, you know. It's it's very drinkable. It's not aggressive. I think my I think my drink is stronger. So I am designated as the drinker for Austin. So the loser has to take a five ounce shot of beer, but the winner picks which beer the loser has to take. We're not doing so this game. <laughs> oh. Oh, cheers. Five ounce beer shot because he lost that hacky sack. No, pinhole. Whatever that game is. Woo. <laughs> Light work, baby. Currently walking to the Italian restaurant for lunch on this Thursday. But looking at the weather, looks like it's about to rain soon. It's starting to get really hum humid out here. This is a Wagyu beef skewer, and it is delicious. Great char, nice and tender, well seasoned, good complimentary sauce. It's like not too overwhelming. Really good. Oh shit! I think this is like a fried, is this like a rice ball? Yeah. It's a rice ball, a fried risotto ball, ooh. I don't know what the sauce is, but uh, can't wait to bite into this one. You want more sauce? Okay. There's a lot of sauce on here. I think it's okay. It's not really my thing. A fried risotto ball. Um, yeah, it's not really my thing. I think it's okay. All right, we got the meatball. Some flat noodle pasta, spaghetti pasta, and then uh, I forgot what this was, but it's like a filled, filled thing. You have it. That's an extra meatball. It's a long. You got medium pasta? Good. I don't know whose meatball this is. Who didn't get meatball? Everybody got one. Downtown Chicago. It is sprinkling just a little bit. Nobody's wearing, nobody's busting out an umbrella, you know? So it's just like a mild, mild raindrops for like the next 20 minutes. On our way to a boat tour. Yeah. Got to hop on this boat tour real fast. Wait, where's Wong? Oh shit, he already went down. Wong using that bathroom. So all the drink tickets are on my phone, so we can switch off going, so I'll go with like Austin and Cooler, and we'll come back out, we're going to like see each other next week, come down. If I wanted to go to Austin and Melon, I'd come to the city, and oh, what do you do with all that debris? What do you do with all that burnt wood, all that detritus, after a fire of this magazine, we have a lake. So they shoved all of it into the lake. 
Well, it was so much material that it formed landfill, on which all the buildings on the other side. This art is typified by elaborate ornament down below, relatively plain stack doors, and repeated ornament up above. But the reason I point out the London House is that our first military fort, Fort Dearborn, was on that site. It was built in 1812, uh, 1800, it was there until 1812, it was destroyed in the War of 1812. And it always seems funny, if you knew that without knowing about the Chicago Fire, you might wonder why your biggest military defense was in the middle of a river. Well, the reason is it was not always in the middle of a river, it was correctly positioned at the edge of the lake. But after the big fire, the most politically charged building in the city of Chicago, this is the Trump International Hotel and Towers. It was designed by Skidmore Owings and Merrill. It was completed in 2009. It is the second tallest building in the city of Chicago. It is a gorgeous building. Um, many things that I love about it. One is that the, build, the way the building is positioned on the river is very beautiful from a distance. Um, it's the first building that goes all the way down to the water taking advantage of the riverbank. There's all kinds of walkways. There's actually a dog park buried in those, in those terraces. Um, it was designed by a man named Adrian Smith, and Adrian Smith is an, an architect from Chicago, while Trump Tower on top of this one. A subtle detail of this building that I particularly love is that where the, where the width narrows on the building, those terraces are not at arbitrary spots. They match the roof lines of architecturally significant buildings next to it, so from a distance it creates a beautiful continuity of the skyline. One of the buildings whose roof line it matches is right here on the right, this is the American Medical Association building with the Langham Hotel, which is the British Hotel, in the lower floors. It was designed by a very important architect, a man named Ludwig Niesel. He designed these beautiful towers for the city. That's a parking lot. Very, very intellectual resource that you can trust on wow. Instagram. Wow. Can you imagine this? Now, this was built this in 1964, and it was built at a time when people did this the draw to live downtown. Marina City was built to be a city within two towers. It was designed to entice workers to live in the city and well, not just work down here. So they put in a grocery store, a dry theater, a bowling alley, a movie theater, all inside Marina killer. City to attract mainly single people, actually, and small families to live there. Now, because of the unique corn cob shape, the apartments are pie shaped. So you walk in a narrow doorway, the apartments would open up into the view, and the idea of the architect's felt was to kind of push it. This is O'Leary's um, aunt's, well, her like third gen her great grandchildren. Finally, went to the city council of Chicago, which was lovely. And lower, not often, and not very much. But, and, but the trains go across every day. It's really funny. Uh, my, I think it was my first week here. Our, We ordered a lot of food for dinner. I'm so hungry. Look at all this chicken. And then all of this chicken. Holy crap. It's, what time is it, like 10 a.m. right now? Yeah. About to go meet up Choi at his place. Get a quick lift in. Gotta get that motivation in. That fucking Eric motivation. Cat motivation. What's up, bro? It is day three in North Korea. About to go to Choi's right now, get some lifts in. Pretty excited, man, to lift without having consumed any weed or alcohol the whole day. So, yeah, to be a good workout. All right, fellas, we are in one of the apartment gyms, warming up right now. 
going to do some arms first. Starting off with curls. Four sets of ten. And we'll probably do some, uh, maybe some kind of skull crusher. We'll see. Like, there's not really all the cables are in the other, the other gym. We'll see. Maybe some skull crushers. Yeah. Got the hungover, hungover tatted CT gangsters. I'm not that hungover. We just finished eight sets, eight for the biceps, eight for the triceps. Now we're gonna move on to three sets for shoulder raises, some Egyptian raises right here, 12 reps each. We're in the back seat of this Uber. Hey Wong. Hey Choi. Hi Albert. Hey Andrew. Hey Austin. Alright, we're at this place called uh, Goose Island. It's called Goose Island. We'll start ordering some bars. Wong, do you know what drink you're gonna get? He's gonna get a hazy IPA. Awesome, what drink are you gonna get? Haven't looked yet. It's supposed to be a citrusy ale, but I actually want that one, a boss berry one. It's a fruited ale, but it's like the sweetest thing on the menu, I think. Uh, I want that one. Yo, what's up, fellas? I'm getting pretty drunk right now off of two beers, two full beers. I also got a hat. This one's really good. This, uh, where's my hand at? It's like, this boss berry fruited ale is really good. I like it. It's like a fruity beer. Yo, look at how, look at how red this motherfucker looks, dude. You look red as fuck. Holy shit. This is a shot of espresso with milk, and we are at our next location. I forgot what this place called. I'm still, I'm still pretty drunk right now, bro. Midwest Coast Brewing Company. That's what it's called. Midwest Coast. No, that's what, that's what we're talking about right now. Like, if we want to hit another brewery and then go to Portillo's, because Portillo's is, is it Portillo's or Portillo's? Portillo's. Portillo's. So yeah, it's either we hit another brewery and then go there, or Uber there and then. I knew there's this lemon shandy flight raspberry lemon 2.5 percent like this is like 
Now this is like Capri Sun, bro. Yeah, this is just something drink. Bro, I would drink 16 ounces of this. This is nice. Yeah? Yo, we just got off the Uber. We are at Portillo's right now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty fucking drunk. Oh my god, I can't wait to fucking eat, bro. I'm so hungry. Wow, I gotta go wide view on this. Oh my god. Let me, let me wipe the camera real fast. Wow, so sick. Pasta ribs. Wow, you got some guy hanging down there. US flag, hell yeah. The famous five? What do they mean? Mmm. Just to let y'all know, I confirmed the order too. Got the gravy. I didn't hear you, but Got I the onion mad. ring. Got the Portillo's beef sandwich. Sandwich is okay. I mean, that's good beef. Nice amount. Yeah. I think Bon Mies tastes better. It does. In my opinion. I feel that's like good the, amount. I feel like yeah, the I Italian the beef needs it. the sausage to mm. complete the flavor in almost Oh yeah, to get the full like Chicago feel. Well it just I feel like the beef can be a little dry mm. and I feel like the sausage adds like fattiness and flavor and saltiness to the whole thing. Mm. That's why I always get the sausage in it. So Andrew ordered the 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 chocolate cake shake. We're holding it. That that shake felt like it was like two pounds, yo. That thing was hefty. Hefty. That shit looks so thick, bro. That's a 30. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a chocolate ball shake with a piece of chocolate. <laughs> yeah, get Austin, get Austin. Yeah. Oh man. This thing looks hella good. This thing looks oh <laughs> Yeah, let's see that tongue let's see that tongue control. Now you gotta drop some protein powder in there, you good. It's so thick. I think it's thicker than Lizzo, bro. <laughs> Walking back home to the Airbnb, and we are in a casino right now. Yeah, I don't know how this happened, but uh, yeah, let's see. Yo, we are on the third floor of this casino in like fucking downtown Chicago right now. Wow. Damn, wow. All right, fellas. Got Andrew over here playing some roulette. More bets. Oh. Alright, update at the casino. They played one hand. And they put it. <laughs> All three of them put it all on red and it landed 22 black. <laughs> now we're walking back home. What's up, fellas? We're at a rave right now. Listening, uh, we're gonna see uh, Yellow Floss, I think. I don't, I don't even know, dude. But it's pretty sick in here. We're like in like Chinatown of Chicago. I like how open it is. This is great. I'm gonna drink a ghost of vodka tonight. Fucking vodka and ghost energy drink right here. How excited are you?
Saturday, about to leave the Airbnb. About to check out in 10 minutes. Gotta enjoy this view one last time. Ding dong 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 dong. Gotta finish eating the leftover steak in the next 10 minutes before we leave. Not about to throw this away. I'm gonna need some help. Austin, perfect. Let me eat some steak, please. Did you bite this one? No. Mm, steak in the morning. some right now for breakfast. I can't wait to take a shit, bro. I need to blow up their toilets so bad, dude. It's like a witch's cauldron in here, you know? Intersection entrance of Chinatown. Hope this restaurant's close. Oh. oh, fun fact Chicago has a bunch of alleyways. <laughs> Alright, we're here. Put her name down, but I'm gonna try to sneak into the bathroom real fast and uh, you know do a do an invasion on their toilet. Oh, yeah, it's like a it's like a whole nipple on my forearm. It's gotta it's gotta let the Asianist. Chinese looking, the most Chinese looking of all of us picked the dip stuff. Bun, duck. It's the uh, rice rolls. It's the uh, shrimp in the water in the rice hagao. That's shantat right there. I don't know what that yellow thing is. Ooh, nice. Mm. Damn, I feel more Chinese already. Last time we were there, I was not the way to 
All right, we have arrived at the boba. Let's chill with the boba. I guess that's the name of the bear. Holy shit, bro. Wow. I got some brown sugar pearl matcha. It's me this one right there. But the cool thing is they also have like stores here inside of the actual boba shop venue where they're selling stuff too. So maybe it's like a shared rented space. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. The, the clientele is not favorite to everything. Well, it's gonna hit the gut. How much time is left, does it say? Oh shit. Oh! Sometimes you have to hit the button twice. I think it's 20 seconds. End of the trip. End of the Asian mobster trip. <laughs> Back from South Korea. Back North Korea. Back from North Korea. Austin, what do you think about the trip? You know, North Korea was cool and all. Yeah. Yeah. I like the freedom here, though. He likes the freedom here, okay. Melody, what do you think about the trip? Interesting. Very interesting. Andrew, what do you think about the trip? We made it out, though. That's <laughs> fine. We made it out. What was your favorite beer? The beer of friendship. The beer of friendship. Wong, what do you think about the trip? It's cool. Cool? Hell yeah. Higher. Because on some of them, you can press at the bottom to close it, so it will, like, stop going down. I mean, I'm trying to speak to you then. Yeah. Oh. Hey, hey, you're close, though. Skip to every single person. Jumped. <laughs> Hey! Shit, bro. Here, you gotta show them the prize. Alright, now, now. Legit weak as hell. That <laughs> <laughs> was. Ah! Can you laugh? Uh, it's not strong enough for the snore legs. Yeah. One inside of Boba Shop. It was so sweet, this brown sugar one. But I also got a Pikachu and some gotchas from a gotcha shop. Lions from Chicago. All right, went from the gotcha place to Chu Quan Bakery and Dim Sum. Chu Quan Bakery and Dim Sum. All right, time to go inside. Woo! The gang's first car wash together. <laughs> Somebody first this trip. Yeah, I don't understand. They're not even gonna brush. Yeah, it's just gonna get my car clean. Well, I mean, it's gonna get dirty right when I start parking. Anyway, so it's only six dollars. <laughs> Maybe it's scanning your car. <laughs> it's doing something. I think it's like scanning. Just I guess. <laughs> 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 oh shit! We was talking hell shit. <laughs> So we'll hold this. <laughs> Woo! God, God damn. Oh shit. All right. Hey, actually, look. Holy crap. Wow. Holy fuck. I'm sorry. I was this not familiar with the game. Party soap. 
Yeah. That's Sorry. nutty. I was not familiar with your game. Damn. Oh, it needs a scrub in the top. Hey, that's good enough. It's going to keep getting dirty. Wow. I got to take it to the first one. This is like a rinse. Clear, Clear coat. coat. Sealant. So I guess done cleaning? What is this? Is that, where's that soap at, bro? This is only a power wash Spot type thing. Well, it's the bean. Dubby. Wait, no, that's just the monk. It's a monk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What did you say he was? He was a monk. But no. Are we honking at the uh There's the bean. There's the bean. Damn, it's a silver. Yeah, it is under construction. We wouldn't even get a picture. Yeah. Spread them cheeks, Wong. Where are you hiding? Where what are you hiding up there? This man's getting the full pat down, bro. Alright, yo, flying back. Chicago right now. I don't even know which terminal I'm in, where my gate is. All I know is there's McDonald's in front of me, and I just might. All right, came back, <clears throat> got some McDonald's, daily double French fries, but I'm excited most about that vanilla cone. And they're ordering something too. Back in SF. How's the trip, Wong? It was cool. SFO at night, yo. Bro, not gonna lie, after that four-hour flight, <clears throat> I just feel all the pool, all the all the blood pooling up in my calves right now. I feel like I got like some Jello cups on my calves, you know. All right, we're back in the crib. I'm about to do. The post trip weigh ins. Austin, you want to go first? This is, uh, what day is it today? This is Saturday at Saturday at 10 22 p.m. 153. When, when did you, what are you, 146 when you started? 149. 149. All right, four <laughs> pounds of McDonald's and McDonald's and us. All right, well, let's see. Moment of truth. Y'all weigh the same? Holy shit, y'all basically weigh the same. 200. Come on, 200. Plus the phone. <laughs> what? <laughs> nice. 196.9. Oh, 196.9. Nice. It's all right there.